Hello, this is John O'Brien, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I built my garage shop cabinets. So, we uh, had our trailer show up here in Ocala, Florida, uh, around the first week in September. And uh, we actually got down here in August. So I thought, well, I got plenty of time to, uh, to build my cabinets. You know, I could just whip them out in some plywood and uh, install them. Well, I'm here to tell you, four months later, I finally got the cabinets done. But uh, it didn't turn out to be just your ordinary cabinets. Uh, after a little thought, when I knew I was going to be late anyways, I thought, let's build these as, as, a, uh, as a showpiece to sort of showcase... Uh, the kind of work I can do for clients, uh, such as veneer, uh, inlay, uh, specialty paint, uh, contour edging, uh, all kinds of uh, fine woodworking type techniques uh, like that, uh, as well as spray finishing. So I wanted to put all those techniques into my cabinetry, and if people ask, uh, what kind of work I do, uh, I can just, uh, well, sh show them uh, my cabinets, pull out a drawer, uh, open a door. Uh, these are some of the features that uh, I can do. So that was the uh, thought process going forward. So uh, the rest of this uh, video is going to show you uh, several photographs of uh, how I got started and where I ended up with and uh, all the trials and tribulations along the way. So, let's get started. After purchasing the required lumber and plywood, I set about to construct the standard face frame cabinets using pocket hole construction. When assembled, they all received two coats of water-based lacquer both inside and outside. Next comes the most exciting part of this whole project, and that is the veneering of the door panels. After looking through my selection of veneer, I picked out a couple of pieces of veneer that I thought would be popular for most clients. Uh, I cut the MDF panels to size trim the veneer to fit and glued them in place and placed them in my vacuum bag uh, to dry overnight. I then cut the panels to shape using router template guides. When completed, I oiled and shellacked the panels to pop the figure. Next, using frame and panel router bits, I formed all the rails and styles. When everything was sanded smooth, I assembled and glued the four doors. The drawers were also made out of plywood and constructed using standard pocket hole construction. They uh, were sprayed with water-based lacquer both inside and out. I used 150 pound full extension drawer slides on all of the drawers that I installed in these cabinets. I chose ambrosia maple as the veneer for the drawer fronts as I wanted a continuous pattern throughout all the drawers. The edges also were applied using uh, white glue and an iron, which I applied ambrosia maple uh, to as well. The top was made with a double layer of three quarter inch paint grade plywood with a two inch pine edging. I then applied a custom paint treatment over the whole top. 
It begins with rolling on a coat of hazelnut textured paint, followed by chipping cream which protects the layer below it. I then painted blotches of paprika colored textured paint and when that was dry I sanded through it to reveal more of the hazelnut underneath the paprika. Then another coat of chipping cream to protect the layers followed by a generous coat of peppercorn which is black. I then sanded through the areas of the peppercorn to achieve a faux worn through layer of paint appearance. The top then receives two coat of water-based top coat to protect it from all the, uh, the wear that it's about to get. 